So we have this Los Angeles Lakers situation. It's not really a situation, but I feel like when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers, everybody always takes things out of context. What I mean by that is people are always overreacting. I mean, I get it. It's Los Angeles. It's this giant market. It's this giant team. They've got LeBron James, one of the best players to ever play the game of basketball. They've got Anthony Davis, one of the most dynamic big men we've ever seen. And they've got this great team around them, but yet they're fifth in the Western Conference at this very moment. As a fan of the Los Angeles Lakers, I'm not going to say that I would necessarily be scared or worried about what's going on because this team has shown amazing resiliency. We've seen this team show the ability to bounce back time and time again. So no, I'm not going to judge the Los Angeles Lakers at their worst. I'm going to wait and see what they look like when everybody is playing together. LeBron James is 36 years old, but there's just something that tells me that the King isn't done yet. This video, we have to talk about the Los Angeles Lakers signing another free agent and what this means for the team going forward. Also, we have to continue to talk about the addition of Andre Drummond and what the addition of Drummond means for other Lakers bigs. Before we go any further, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You will not want to miss another Get Like Coop video, and that's facts. If you guys enjoy my content, you'll probably enjoy my streams. Be sure to check out my stream. The link is going to be in the description below. We're about to start streaming really soon, and we are also starting a reaction channel. The link to my reaction channel will also be in the description below. Now let's talk hoops. For some reason, whenever I make a Lakers video, I feel like it's always a little controversial. I feel like when it comes to the Lakers, everybody never agrees on one opinion. Everybody has their own, and honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. So to start this video, I wanna talk about the Los Angeles Lakers signing Ben McLemore. For those of you that don't know who Ben McLemore is, you're definitely in for some good stuff. Coming into the NBA, I thought Ben McLemore had next. I'm sure a lot of people did, but I was one of those people that truly was all in on this guy becoming an all-star. Hey, if you can't talk about your misses, then the hits really aren't any fun, right? I mean, nobody's perfect, not even LeBron James. LeBron also thought Ben McLemore had next. He said they sleeping on Ben McLemore. Just watch. June 27th, 2013. If you go to NBADraft.net, they compared Ben McLemore to Ray Allen. They called him a prototypical two guard with a mouthwatering combination of athleticism and shooting ability. The crazy thing is, while the comparison was a miss, I can't even say they were wrong. Ben McLemore was a freak athlete in college and he could shoot the ball. In 2013, if you could shoot the ball and you were a good athlete, you were a star in my eyes. While I think it's safe to say my basketball analysis has advanced since then, it'd be tough to say the same for Ben's game. Coming out of college, he averaged 16 points, five boards. He shot 42% from three and 50% from the field. While McLemore isn't a star, I'm no McLemore hater. I actually really do like his game. He can shoot. And if you could shoot the ball, there's always going to be somebody that can use you. He can shoot and beyond being able to shoot, he knows his role. This season, Ben McLemore hasn't put up the best numbers, but that's not necessarily something that worries me. He's averaging seven points per game and shooting 33.1% from the three point line. But if you go back a little further to the two seasons before this one, he shot 41.5% from the three point line and 40% from three. The 40% from three that he shot, he did so with the Houston Rockets, and he did so on six attempts per game. So it's not like he was taking one or two threes a game. No, this guy is a bona fide shooter that can get hot at any given time. It's no shock to me that his percentages dropped without James Harden and Russell Westbrook. You see, James Harden creates a lot of open looks. Somewhere along the line, James Harden got this reputation for ball hogging when the reality is he's an excellent passer, arguably the best in the NBA. 
You can quote me on that. If you don't think Harden is the best passer in the NBA, let me know who you think the best passer in the NBA is. The beauty about Ben McLemore going to the Los Angeles Lakers is that he's going to get a chance to play with another great passer. Say what you want about LeBron, but the Lakers are a completely different team when he's not playing. He makes everybody else's life incredibly easy. This might sound crazy and look, maybe it's not true, I don't know, but I also feel like Bron has this Tom Brady-like effect where when people are playing with them, they naturally play with a better energy. It's like they believe that they can win. It's like they believe that they can be great. This effect is an effect that I think a lot of great players and a lot of great leaders have. So do I like Ben McLemore going to the Lakers? Of course. The Lakers are 24th in the league in three-point percentage. They also rank close to the bottom for open and wide open three-pointer percentage. In the words of LeVar Ball, you can never have too many shooters. Okay, check me out. I'm not sure he actually said that, but they do make everybody's life easier. Those are the words of Coop. The Lakers are getting a good shooter and a solid offensive player that has room to expand. Up next, we have a little trouble in paradise. When it comes to Mark Gasol, I feel like he's been one of the main guys that has been a scapegoat for this Los Angeles Lakers team. And I don't really like that because I don't think Mark Gasol has been a negative impact player on the court at all. I think when it comes to Gasol, you have to know what he's good at. You have to know his role and you have to know what to expect from him. Look, Gasol's not a great rebounder, but don't be shocked if your team rebounds better when he's in the game. Gasol's not as fast as he once was, which is saying a lot, but he impacts the game with his IQ and his ability to space the floor. There's only so many bigs in the NBA that can shoot. Guess what? Mark Gasol is one of them. Not only can Mark Gasol shoot, but he's a phenomenal passer. When it comes to Mark, there's a lot to like, but you have to temper your expectations. Mark Gasol is 36 years old. It really hurts my heart that there have been rumors that Mark Gasol could have been headed towards a buyout. Now keep in mind, those are just rumors, but they hurt all the same. This season, Mark Gasol has dealt with a lot just to get back on the floor. Now with that being said, I understand Gasol's frustrations. I truly, truly do. But I just wish he had a more positive mindset about the Lakers signing Drummond. Gasol said, in the NBA, things change quickly, just as they have for me. But I'm committed to this team. It's a hard pill to swallow because I know I'm going to be out of the lineup at some point. It's never easy on a player. As a basketball player, you want to play, you want to contribute, especially when you made that commitment for a reason, but we'll see. I truly get the frustration because it does have to be tough. I imagine it's tough for Harold also, who is somebody that has wanted a bigger role and has been proving themselves all season. But at the end of the day, you kind of just have to go out there and produce. You have to show why you're the better option. Unfortunately, the NBA is a business. Gasol also went on to say that with the Lakers signing Drummond, he doesn't feel like plan A. He feels like plan C or D. It's just something that's not easy to accept and you have to do your job. Lakers fans, let me know what your expectations are for Andre Drummond going forward. By the way, check out my podcast, Laced Up. New episodes coming every Tuesday. Clicking the video on the screen right now is a great way to support my channel. I'm get like who bring you guys the scoop until our next upload.